Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft, over the last couple of days, um, on the 26th of May, has posted a very interesting article over on Windows Blogs Post Updates, um, where they highlight a couple of performance and other improvements that they have rolled out, key performance and improvements that they have rolled out over the past year to Windows which I thought was interesting. And I thought we could just focus on some of those highlights in this video today, because obviously we do talk about Windows quite frequently on the channel. And uh, um, just to focus on some of those key areas where Microsoft says in this post, they are giving us a behind the scenes peek into how performance improvements are delivered. Because um, they mentioned that Windows now operates at a massive scale with over 1 billion users and a rich PC ecosystem and there are innumerable combinations of usage patterns, key apps, and hardware, according to Microsoft. And I'll leave the full article down below in case you would be interested, because it will provide you with more info, because we're just going to look, have a look at some of the key highlights for the purpose of today's video. Now, I must just say at the outset that um, this is according to Microsoft, and I do know that um, some of the points that Microsoft does mention in this article, which we will look at shortly, are going to cause a lot of debate in the world of Windows uh, because obviously um, there are a lot of opinions um, regarding features or the lack of features that Microsoft has made available in updates to Windows over the last year. Now Microsoft says in regards to um, the fact that there are now more than 1 billion users worldwide um, who are using Windows they have said that they have enhanced Windows' speed and reliability to optimize the performance of its flagship applications to improve Windows' sustainability, where they have been working diligently to deliver faster, more reliable, and more efficient compute computing. And some of those key highlights from the last year that they have added to Windows, they say they have improved frequently used shell interactions. Now, your shell is are things like your file explorer, uh, your start menu, your search, your taskbar, um, your notifications, and so on. So they have improved frequently used shell interactions by as much as 15%. Then they carry on to say another highlight is they are getting users into productivity faster by improving the time it takes to get to the desktop by 10% and reducing the impact of startup apps by over 50%. And startup apps are obviously those apps that run in the background when you boot up your system. So in a nutshell, at well, that point, they say that they have, they have um, improved the startup times of the Windows operating system over the last year. And then if we just quickly head over to the settings and our um, power and battery and energy recommendations, and Microsoft mentions that they have made PCs more sustainable with their new energy recommendations where they see a 6% average, average reduction in energy, energy consumption for users now who use the recommended energy settings. And this next point, I think, is going to uh, cause a lot of debate. They say Windows 11 is the most reliable version of Windows ever with recent updates continuing to improve reliability. That's according to Microsoft. And another interesting one, they say that Microsoft Edge uh, now starts up faster than ever before and saves memory with features like sleeping tabs, which saves up to 83% of memory for background tabs. And then another key highlight, they say the new Teams app for Windows is two times faster while using half the resources. So those are some of the key highlights from that post, according to Microsoft. Now, if you would be interested and do want to stick around a little bit longer, um, I thought we could just take a look at some other key areas that Microsoft has mentioned in this article regarding File Explorer improvements, because obviously File Explorer, which is your FileExplorer.exe, which is the shell of the operating system, is a core component where they say they have made several improvements in File Explorer, including improving launch time of File Explorer for users who have files stored in the cloud. And they've also looked at deleting files and made improvements to bulk file delete operations by over 40%, according to Microsoft. And another interesting point from this post is that they say they have reduced game stutter with high report rate mass. And they say they have fixed issues throughout Windows so that an untimely frame freeze won't take gamers out of their immersive experience. So according to Microsoft, they have reduced game stutter with high report rate mass. Now, um, just to finish off, um, Microsoft has given some examples of some other highlights 
where um, they mentioned some of the improvements that they have made to Windows um, in the February and May updates of this year, 2023, where there are many other improvements available, including, and I'm just going to mention these quickly because I don't want to draw this video out too long. They say um, these improvements include taskbar improvements to ensure taskbar is readily available after logging in, task view, performance improvements when um, your device uh, is under heavy load, They've improved performance of Windows notification service, improved the launch time um, of the quick settings and the uh, notification center. They've reduced the CPU usage of Explorer. They've reduced memory usage of notification center. So quite a lot of improvements for the notification center, um, according to Microsoft. Touch keyboard performance improvements, resource usage reductions in multi-user scenarios, reduced voice access, um, and narrator latency in larger documents, improved voice typing activation time, improved speed of theme changes, and reduced size on disk by leveraging features on demand via the store. So that's according to Microsoft, as mentioned. And those are just some of the key highlights that Microsoft says they have made um, regarding performance and other key improvements that they have rolled out over the past year um, to the Windows operating system. And that um, there are now more than 1 billion users of Windows worldwide, according to Microsoft. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.